I am Aisha Kafoor, a student at Apsex Humayun Road, Rawal Pindi, along with Javedia Kafoor and Basil Abdul Majid from SNS NAST. This video is on a cure idea, immunity enhancement via cell culture to treat COVID-19. Coronavirus is a large family of viruses first identified in humans in the 1960s. The new type of coronavirus is called SARS-CoV-2, which causes the disease named COVID-19, so far having a fatality rate of around 18% with reference to closed cases. SARS-CoV-2 comes in via spike protein, binds to the AC2 enzyme, and together with AC2, gets into the cell and fuses to the membrane. The virus gets out from the endosome and replicates. Therefore, AC2 is essential for SARS-CoV-2 to enter the cell and then replicate. Although treatment with soluble ACE2 or anti-ACE2 antibodies disrupts interaction between virus and receptor, However, deficiency of ACE2 impairs cardiac and skeletal muscles adaptation to exercise. As a result, a patient already infected with SARS-CoV-2 further develops heart and blood pressure problems. Passive antibody therapy is the treatment with injections of antibodies taken from a recovered person. But pathogens may become resistant to antibodies by acquiring mutations that change the antigenic site recognized by the antibodies or by producing proteases that destroy immunoglobins. Convalescent plasma therapy, in which plasma of recovered patients is used, may appear useful. However, Due to issues like mutation of SARS-CoV-2, possibility of recurrence of a positive SARS-CoV-2 test due to insufficient immunity level, HLA mismatching and level of desired immunity, it may not suit the patient. Moreover, availability of donors in a pandemic-like situation, having more active than recovered cases may not be easy. Development of vaccines for COVID-19 will also not help active cases. Therefore, there is no promising solution yet to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic. SARS-CoV-2 enters the lung alveolar epithelial cells via AC2 receptors and replicates, which causes the disease COVID-19. The immune system is triggered and starts fighting against the virus. Therefore, strong immune system is desirable to effectively fight against SARS-CoV-2. Immunity enhancement method using cell culture of immune cells taken from sample of infected person is presented as given in the figure. Blood sample of a person X tested positive for COVID-19 is taken and immune cells are separated using centrifugation technique. These immune cells include granulocytes, monocytes, lymphocytes and some specific antibodies. The immune cells are replicated using anchorage independent cell culture under favorable conditions. The cell cultured immune cells are injected back to same infected patient X. The patient X is observed for specified time. If the, if the symptoms of X start getting better, then confirmatory test for COVID-19 is conducted again, else the blood sample is taken again and the process is repeated. Further testing. Preclinical testing involving laboratory studies in vitro and tests on animals. Lifespan of immune cells in vitro. Immunity controlling factor that is a suitable level of immunity which is enough to successfully fight COVID-19 without any side effects. 
time consumed in preparing cell cultured immune cells lab experiments to determine suitable type of immune cells to be cell cultured effects of enhanced immunity on patients with history of different other diseases advantages of proposed method include control immunity enhancement of patient to fight covid-19 no hla and blood group compatibility issues since the donor and recipient is the same person no effect of mutation of sars cov2 since the donor and recipient is the same person less possibility of recurrence of sars cov2 positive test due to sufficient immunity level no need to find a recovered donor unlike for passive antibody therapy and convalescent plasma therapy this method may also be used to cure other viral diseases once it is established we are looking forward to your feedback in the comment section below or via email